What's up, you guys? It is Caveman here. I know this is a non canny intro, but this Ceratosaurus just pulled up at the base, and we gotta do something about it. Man, yeah, get out of here, Ceratosaurus. There we go. What a crazy start to this episode, you guys. But what is going on, you guys? It is Caveman here, and welcome back to episode 17 of ARC. Now, last time we left off, of course, we went ahead and tamed that Megalodon, as well as went ahead and found that treasure out there. And um, um, unfortunately, in between this episode and last, that Megalodon, it seemed to have disappeared. I really don't know what happened to it. I cryopotted it up. I put it up in my chest and then it literally just disappeared after that i have no clue where it went so you know that's unfortunate arc had a pretty sizable update on the game you guys and it seems the doors auto open and close now which is pretty crazy they also fixed a lot of just kind of bugs in general as well as they added the giga raptor to the main game which is one of those creatures they added um in a recent update but they kind of added it as like a dlc mod for some reason yeah and this is where i threw up my megalodon you guys then it just literally disappeared so i don't know maybe i accidentally dropped it on the ground or something but either way i can't find him anymore and who let me go ahead and light up on my uh, Dimorphodon's here. I kind of gave away their day, but yeah, look at that. These nuts right there advertising my new ARC server. The information to join that is in my Discord, and the link for that is in the description down below. So make sure to join the Discord if you guys are interested in joining up on my server. I went ahead and named a bunch of other dinosaurs, you know, since I named those two guys over there. I went ahead and named our RG over here that's been unnamed forever, Chick Doris. I figured that was a pretty funny name for our RG. And then let me go ahead and just pull up the list right here, honestly, of the rest of the dinosaurs, and it'll show all the names. Here we got Lil Diplodocus um, for our um, Diplodocus fellow down there um i showed you guys him last episode i don't know if we could see him from here um that looks like a t-rex out there yeah that definitely ain't him yeah i don't know where he's at but he's in here somewhere and then um of course i went ahead and named um one of the wolves baxter um that actually used to be an old dog of mine i thought that was a pretty cool name for him um let me see do we have any other oh yeah spirit that was another name that i got for um the female wolf um, and I think we got another female. I'm just seeing if I named anything else. Yeah, Iggy, that's a new name. I went ahead and named our Iguanodon Iggy. I felt that was a pretty unfitting name, but oh boy, here's a controversial one right here, you guys. Donald Trump, the Dilophosaurus. Um, now he's down there somewhere. You know, he helped me commission the wall, of course, you know, but um, I don't know where he's at currently. He was the kind of American-themed looking Dilophosaurus. He had blue, red, and white on him. You know, he had the cool colors on him, so I felt that was a good name, you know, for him. No one had left any names. He had been here since, like, episode two, so, you know, sometimes you just kind of name some critters yourself, and, well, I think that does about do it. And then, yeah, Ace, that was the last um name that I went ahead and did off camera, so that catches us up on all the stuff I think I did off camera. I didn't do too much crazy, of course, you know, in between this episode and last um like building the base or nothing like that but um either way this episode what i think i wanted to go out doing you guys was actually taming a berry onyx a high level one of those because off camera i said i was gonna go taming a max level dire for saber tooth and well the options for them just weren't good i mean i'm not gonna lie to you they just were bad they all either had terrible levels in their health and melee which are like the prime stats i'm going after right now so that you know they had wasted levels and things like food stamina carry weight things that i'm not prioritizing in a fighting creature but i found a high level baryonyx off camera you guys actually um hopefully it's still here i haven't even checked you know since i started the recording but i gotta assume it is i haven't really seen them you know do anything crazy like disappearing yet but um let's do level 145 to 150 because yep we've got a level 145 male baryonyx out there and i went ahead and already checked on this one and it has some great stats you guys we're definitely going to want to go tame this guy up so um let's go ahead and just fly out there and do some of that action here to begin off this episode, you guys. So I'll see you guys here out at the Baryonyx. Oh boy, you guys, here we are at this Baryonyx. Now, yep, there we are. Check those levels out, too. He's got 27 into health and 28 into melee, which honestly isn't even that good. That's just about average. But, dude, I'm telling you, some of these other ones that I was out there, I was seeing dire rolls with like 17 points into health. They only had a thousand health, even though they were level 150. Yeah, it was just disgraceful. So I was like, you know, we've got to find a good caving critter. And I figured, you know, the baryonyx was the next best option and well i found us a good one but he's in a very odd location here for sure you guys so as to how we're gonna actually knock this guy out i've got zero clue this has got to be one of the more difficult um tames we've tried to do so far because just the location i mean i think we're honestly going to be best bet you know hitting him and trying to get him out of here i think we need to get him in some kind of open area let's try to get him to the other side over here honestly yeah over here just looks a lot easier with these little plateaus we could probably hook him on one of these cliffs 
Um, if he's going to follow over, though, I don't know if he's going to follow. I hit him. Yeah, he doesn't give a dang. Let's go ahead and fly over there real quick. Smack him again and see if we can get him to actually follow us this time. I don't want to get too close because I think they've got some crazy special abilities. I don't know if they could dismount. I don't really remember. It's been a while since I've messed with Baryonyxes, honestly. I just know that they're a pretty good, you know, caving dinosaur for us to get. So, um, come on. We don't want you over here. Oh man, I think he's finally coming. Oh, that is not what I wanted to happen. That is not what I wanted to happen. That is not what we needed to happen right there. Oh boy, you guys. Oh boy, oh boy. Parachute, or not parachute, you grapple. Man, we killed the heck out of that thing, you guys, but dude. Wow, that got way too close for comfort right there. Luckily, Baryonyx seems to be distracted on his own set of issues right now. Fighting a Dimorphodon? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna kill that thing, Um, but we need to just get him distracted. So I'm just gonna start shooting arrows at this guy, and hopefully we're able to nail him with a few and get him hooked onto us, as opposed to whatever he thinks he's doing over there. Ooh, alrighty, you guys. Well, I'm back, and I went ahead and set up this trap right here, because, dude, look how fast this guy is. It's been impossible to get him to come anywhere with me, so I'm just gonna try to lead him into this trap and actually just trap him, and then knocking him out should be a piece of cake, in theory, in theory. Um, get the gate up. The gate's up, yes, I think. If the gate's up, but the problem is how much damage is he going to do to these gates? I know he can break... Oh, he got out! He just crawled out, you guys! Are you kidding me? Dude, he literally just got out. Oh, man, we might have some design flaws right here. <laughs> oh, man, well, I'm going to go ahead and need to pick up... Um, It looks like those two gates on the right and the far back one, and I'll see you guys here in a second, hopefully with this set up properly. Oh, you guys, I just hit him once. You know, I've kind of got a sneaky strategy. What if we use the pen, you know, the opposite way it's supposed to be used? He seems to be able to get out of it, but he's not very smart with how to get in. Oh, boy, stop, Tyranodon. We're not in a dangerous situation anymore. Oh, boy, now we are. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Come here. Come here, Tyranodon. Oh, man. That, that, that was way too close, you guys. But yeah, yeah, we could use this cage the opposite way it's meant to be used. From us on the inside and him on the outside. And he's not the smartest fellow. I think we should be able to actually get by with this some way, somehow. Um, I'm just going to keep blasting him, you guys, like through these cracks in the wall. Hopefully we can get this sucker down. And we'll have ourselves a brand new high level Baryonyx. Hopefully these walls last, too. Yeah, these walls are definitely going to last. He does not do damage to these walls effectively. All right, look at this, you guys. Yeah, this is working stupid good. This is working stupid good. Okay, he's mad. He's running. Oh, he's running far, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, this is a chase. This is a chase instantaneous, you guys. We gotta go, and we gotta go fast. Okay, we need to corner him again. See, this is the problem about not having him in the trap, and then running through the swamp, too. This is the worst area to do any kind of chase in. Oh, man. He's kind of stuck for a second. Dang. Dang. Dang, that is not cool. That is not cool, Mr. Caprasuchus. Okay, we somehow teleported back to our Tyranodon. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, man, he's literally about to go out one arrow. One arrow, one punch even. Boom! Is he down and out? He's down and out for the count, you guys. Oh, my. Man. Oh, man. We've done it, you guys. We have about done it. We have a level 140 Baryonyx. 145, that is, Baryonyx knocked out on the ground for us man we're gonna need some prime meat oh we need fish meat man you guys i'm not gonna lie i didn't know we need fish meat oh boy that that is a rough one well shh, we might need to head back to base and go see if we have any fish meat because i definitely don't have any out here you guys so i'm gonna go check back at base and if we have any fish meat then i'll just bring it back out here and i'll see you guys here back at the baryonyx but if not Man, that really sucks, too, because we lost our Megalodon. Man, you guys, hopefully we have some fish meat back at the base. Either way, I'll see you guys here in just a second. Well, here we are back at the base, and it looks like we have no prime fish meat, actually, to go taming our Baryonyx fellow down there. So we're going to need to go get some of that. And it actually, we didn't have any long grass either, because I went ahead and tried to make regular kibble, because that was the kibble that he wanted. And it said we had everything except for long grass. So I think, actually, what I want to do here, obviously not right now, but in the future, is up 
upgrade this area over here into the greenhouse. That's why you guys, I want to move everything in here, obviously, over to the industrial area, like I said, and then to turn this into a greenhouse. I think that's definitely going to be a great upgrade for the space. It's something we need, because, yeah, we need to start growing crops if we want to advance, you know, further, getting kibble and whatnot, just so we can make taming a lot easier. But either way, we need to get prime fish meat right now. That is the goal. And I looked up, um, you know, a good way to do it, and that is actually by using a sickle. You can actually get prime meat using a sickle, which I didn't know so that's pretty cool and there's also saber tooth salmon really close to our base which gives you um, a good amount of prime meat i do believe for you know using a sickle so let's go out over here and check this out you guys i believe there's chest in this valley over here and let's try to get ourselves some prime meat so we can go ahead and tame up our baryonyx fellow so we can get an actual cave mount critter you know because right now we we have nothing that can do that nothing's just strong enough for us and yeah it should be this riverbed right here where the last time we saw our megalodon unfortunately you guys yeah I have just not seen him since. I don't know what happened to him. The last thing I did was freeze him. And yeah, like I said, he still hasn't come back. So that is unfortunate. But um, let's go ahead and put the sickle on our hot bar. And then we can go ahead and um, harvest them down there. Because I'm not going to want to kill them with the sickle. We'll just want to harvest them with the sickle. And yeah, let's get these bad boys right here. Man, I messed them up good. Yeah, my sword is super strong. And yeah, pull off the sickle. And yeah, look at all that. We are getting heaps, heaps of prime meat. Oh, get off me, piranhas. Piranha trash. Yeah, I don't think piranhas give you prime meat. But yeah, yeah, we just need to kill a few of these saber tooth salmon, you guys. And get, yeah, just some prime meat. And we should be good to go. Okay, looks like just a few of the big ones. These small ones don't seem to give you too much. Okay, let's try to get this bugger right here. He looks like a decent size. And yeah, you can actually fish, you know, and get these guys by fishing instead of doing it just casually with a sword. But my sword's so strong and the fish are so dumb that, hey, I mean, this is the easier way to do it, honestly, so... Let's see, we need to just get a few more. Okay, there's another big one right there. Come on, I need to get, like, another one that drops me, like, ten pieces. And I think we should be good to go. I don't know exactly how many we need. Okay, yeah, I'm going to probably get us, like, around 40 or 50 pieces of this stuff real quick. And I'll see you guys here in just a second, probably over there back at the Baryonyx, when we have ourselves enough prime meat to tame them up. See you guys here in just a second. Well, you guys, look who is still sound asleep. Well, let's go ahead and fill him up some with some of this prime meat that we went ahead and harvested. And I actually got a hundred of it, believe it or not, you guys, on the last, um fish that I harvested there, it gave me like 70 of it, I kid you not, if not even like more than that, it gave me way more than I thought I even needed, it was actually insane, and it was all from one fish, and then in the process of all of that, dude, Sprite almost died somehow, I don't even know how, because I just found him flying in the air with like 100 health left when I came back, you know, to him, so um, that's good Sprite didn't die, but that was a close call for sure, um, and let's see, yeah, I do have one cryopod. Oh boy, do we want to risk it for the biscuit, you guys? I think I'm going to go ahead and cryopod him, and I'm going to instantly take him out as soon as we get home. So, you know, that way, if it glitches, I'll have it on camera, you know what I mean? I'm live streaming this right now on Twitch, so, you know, if you guys want to check that out, make sure to check me out on Twitch over at the Caveman Universe. But yeah, if it glitches out again this time, I'll definitely know for sure you know what happens, so... Either way, you guys, he's about to tame up. Look at this. Wow. We left him sitting here so long while he was hungry. I didn't even have to use, like, any hunger things on him or nothing. Look at that, you guys. Level 209 Baryonyx. 4K health. I mean, God knows how much damage it does. I don't even remember. I'm sure it hit us a few times yesterday. But we're going to pump plenty of more points into its damage. So there we go. Look, I got a Baryonyx in my inventory, you guys. I'm flying home. So hopefully we make a home with this Baryonyx, you guys. And I will see you guys here back at the base. Here we are back at the base, you guys. So let's go ahead and, um, yep, there we go. Deploy our Baryonyx, right? Yes, right, okay, and I'm never gonna use this cryopod on him again, I swear, I will not, I'll be running to every cave with him, because I'm not risking nothing for the biscuit with something like this, you guys, so, um, yeah, we've got ourselves the Baryonyx now, let's go ahead and make up a saddle for this guy real quick, you guys, um, we're probably gonna have to learn it. Um, and speaking of learning things, let's go ahead and learn some other more Ingrams here real quick. Look how many Ingram points we have. I'm going to go ahead and turn this. This is a really cool feature I've been using a lot more lately. And it lets us just see everything that we haven't learned. Uh, yeah, I went ahead and learned everything from Bob's Tall Tale, so there's all that. But yeah, let's just go ahead and try to learn some of these stuff. Um, a reinforced whip. See, I want to learn that. I'm pretty sure that is basically the same as the whip that's on Scorched Earth, but you know, we can build it over here because the whip that Scor the whip from Scorched Earth requires like silk or some kind of resource that's only available on Scorched Earth. So that's pretty cool, you know, that we can actually get our own whip. 
Um, simple rifle ammo. We probably should learn that one. Shotgun ammo. Let's go ahead and learn that. Ooh, these quality of life things. We definitely are going to want to get these, you guys. The quality of life. Nanny, the farmer, the gardener. These are going to be all really helpful for me in the future with just automating things around the base. Ooh, and all the greenhouse stuff. Real quick, let me just search greenhouse. I'm going to learn it all because realistically, I want to make the greenhouse look nice just like I made the rest of my places look nice. You know what I mean? So just give me every single piece that's available of greenhouse material. There we go. That's pretty sweet. Polymer is probably another good one we'll want to learn. Ooh, the industrial grill. We'll want to learn that. We can, we can start cooking stuff up like crazy. And look at that. Lights. We can start making lights around the base. Ooh, you guys. That's pretty crazy. Ooh, a casual bunk bed? I don't think I really need that. There's only one person here. Oh, man. Flak armor. I can't believe I haven't even learned this stuff, you guys, yet. Yeah, we need to make ourselves some flak armor here. A pump action shaddy. Let's go ahead and learn that bad boy. Even though we have that other one already made, we might want to craft ourselves up one at some point, right? Um, learn ourselves the canteen. Ooh, we'll want to get that. That's basically just a better version of the water jar. Do we already have one? Yeah, we already have one because we got from one from a supply drop. Yeah, that is right. Ooh, a refrigerator, you guys. Let's go ahead and learn that up. An oil pump. That's really cool, but I don't think we can use that on this map, actually, you guys, unfortunately. That's only available on the Scorched Earth map because there is no real oil veins or whatever they're called. Technically, you just kind of have to mine them on this map, so that's unfortunate. Ooh, the industrial grinder. That's definitely something we're going to want to get. A heavy miner's helmet. I don't know, that sounds kind of crazy. I mean, it'll give us a light source, but I mean, I don't know. These caves don't seem to be too dark. At least the first one I went into, remember you guys? It had all these, like, glowing crystals and stuff on the wall and all that cool stuff. The caves don't seem to be too dark, at least from what I saw. Ooh, a casual flamethrower, you guys? Oh, boy. Again, I don't know if we can make that one, because I think that's another scorched earth item right there. Um, algae sushi? Incredibly nutritious sushi that any dino will love. Use this on a taming dino to boost some lost taming effectiveness. Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. Let's go ahead and learn that. We'll want to use some of that up right at some point. Ooh, a casual tech replicator. Oh, boy. I don't know about that one yet. Ooh, an auto turret. A casual auto turret we could put on our base. That's crazy, you guys. Ooh, an appetizer trank dart. Let's go ahead and learn that. Ooh, an elevator. Ooh, an elevator would be really cool, you guys. I could build, like, an elevator from up here all the way down to Dino Valley. Oh, boy, man. I'm just flooding with ideas now. Ooh, a casual vault. I assume that's just, like, a giant storage box. I guess we can make one of those up. Ooh, a compound bow. Ooh, I know these are really good. Let's go ahead and learn that. Ooh, an indie forge. Look at that. That's another really good one. A chemistry pitch. Man, there's a ton of stuff we need to be learning. Fabricated sniper. Absorbent substrate. I don't even know what this is, but let's learn it. It sounds like it's going to be useful. Ooh, a casual gas mask. Let's learn that. Oh, boy. Some night vision goggles, you guys. Man. Dude, that, those are like the night vision goggles from Jurassic Park. That's actually kind of crazy. You know what? How about we learn some of those, too? Oh, man. A rocket launcher? Definitely going to need some of that action. Um, yeah, rocket homing missile, man, so we could probably put that in the rocket launcher too, yeah, so we can like home in on things, lock in on targets, that is actually kind of crazy. A phenomium dart? I don't even know, let's learn it, I mean, it, it's a dart, so I, yeah, and it takes a trank dart, yeah, I assume that does some kind of tranquilizing thing to something, but I don't know exactly. Um, little ratfish treats, what is this even? For a helicopter, you know, okay, well, we, we're not really going to be messing with those guys anymore. I think I'm all done messing with the water this series, probably, at least for now. Um, a shocking tranquilizer dart, that's pretty crazy. Electric prod, casually. Man, there is so much riot gear, you guys. Casual riot gear. Man, let's make some of that up real quick, you guys. That is actually insane. Oh, we've got a rocket turret. Jeez. Jeez, you guys, let's learn a rocket turret. That is actually insane, man. We just spent so many Ingram points, if you see right there. That is wild. Um, Real quick, let's search up quality of life, because I know that's one of those mods that I have installed, and we probably should just learn like pretty much everything from this mod. Yeah, quality of life metal storage box. Yeah, that's free to learn anyway. Ooh, um, this thing, I definitely want to build this at some point, because I'm going to use that probably to decorate. I thought that'd be a good decoration item, you know, to put in our industrial area. It'll probably look good over there. Ooh, all right, you guys, um, can we learn these things? Doesn't look like we can learn those. All righty, well, let's go ahead and make this Baryonyx saddle up. And, man, we just learned a ton of other stuff, too. That is crazy, you guys. 
Um, well, let's search the baryonic cell. There's no way I'm going to find it right now. I do not know what it looks like. There we go. Ooh, and actually, before we do that, I think we might actually have like a baryonic saddle in here. Is that the case? Because that would be awesome. Oh boy, you guys, look at that. We have a Mastercraft baryonic saddle with 69 armor. Nice. I mean, basically 69, right? Dude, that, that is awesome. Let's put this saddle on this thing real quick. Sweet, you guys. All right, we, we got to test him out real quick. Um, is there anything in the backyard? Man, golly, there was that Ceratosaurus today when we started out the episode. But, ooh, okay, there's, there's something. I was going to say there's nothing when we want it, but at least there's something. I just kind of want to test him out. You guys see how strong he is. Ooh, 100 a bite? Honestly, 100 a bite. That is something we're going to be able to work with in the caves, you guys. That is definitely something we're going to be able to work with. And I think if we pump a bunch of levels into him over time, he's definitely going to be better. Well, I'm going to do just that and go leveling up the Baryonics for the cave. And I think this is going to be a great place to leave off this episode. I know it is a short but sweet one, but hey, I think we did get a lot accomplished here with actually getting an amazing cave fighting creature. And this will give me some time to, you know, go level up the Baryonics as well as just do some other things off camera. And of course, leave names for the Baryonics. I don't remember if I said that early in the episode or not, but maybe... Make sure to leave some names down below in the comments. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare for the caves off camera. You know, fix my crossbow up, my armor, because it's all trashed here. I only have the hat and my chest piece left. And then um, I also went ahead and actually changed the settings, you guys. I didn't mention this earlier in the episode, but I changed some of the settings to kind of better optimize it a little bit more for single player. I turned um, the harvest rates up as well as XP, just so, you know, I could build the house a little bit faster as well as level up faster. I figured, you know, both of those aren't going to really hurt anything. And then off camera, you guys, I might go tame a Dota Curious. I know that be a good one to see on camera but it's just gonna be you know the same as i do with every other thing just kind of knocking it out you know feeding it berries it is an herbivore but he's on um, that armored ball critter if you know the one that kind of looks like an armadillo and they're actually really good for harvesting stones so i think that would really help me progress in building this industrial part of the base because as you can see i haven't done too much on it and that's just because getting stone is so much harder than getting wood by hand i could tell you that but um yeah off camera i'm just gonna keep building the house and um you know upgrading things i'll probably turn that other side into a greenhouse over there you guys but um until then thank you guys all very much for watching and i will see you guys here next time oh boy looks like i'm thirsty or i'm um, hungry there Ooh, and make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already it definitely helps the channel out and also hit that notification bell down there so you can get notifications as soon as my videos come out but um until next episode you guys thank you guys all very much for watching and i will see you guys here next time later guys